Hey ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Michael. And I'm Michael Carter. And we are Ridiculously, Ridiculously bored. bored and driving home from Vegas. Ridiculously poor. <laughs> So are we doing the Hoover Dam or are we not doing no, the Hoover Dam? Okay. So we're, just, we're gonna do Oatman though? Yes. All right, we're gonna go see some donkeys. Come with us. All right, welcome to Bullhead City, Arizona. Because Mike was fucking hungry and had to stop and get food. I tried to get him to sign at the, stop at the sign that said cock. The part that said tails was, was hit by the tree. <laughs> we didn't get good video of that. We should have got video of that. <laughs> Uh, this place is interesting. There's, um, yeah, there's there's not much here. And, uh, yeah, we gotta get out of here before we get robbed. Also, going anywhere with him is a chore because he's crippled still from his surgery. So it we're takes. We're not allowed to say the word cripple, just like we're not allowed to say the word retard. But you just said it. Oh. Anyways, so everything takes three times as long. But worth it. One times. The town of Oatman was originally named after Olive Oatman, a young Illinois girl whose pioneer family was massacred by Indians while they were making the journey westward in 1851. She was later sold to the Mojave tribe who adopted her and tattooed her face. She was finally released in 1856. In 1941, during World War II, the U.S. government forced all of the town's gold mines to be shut down because other metals were needed for the country's war effort. When this happened, the hundreds of burrows or donkeys used for mining were abandoned and took to the hills to survive on their own. Over the past 80 years, they've flourished and now outnumber the town's inhabitants. Interestingly enough, a lot of these places are selling burrow food that you can feed the burrows with, but they don't want you feeding them around here so they, so they don't uh, come down in this area. David was also surprised about the smell when you're in a town where burrows are running the show, basically shitting wherever they want. <laughs> That's an ass. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, no. I'm assuming that store is not doing a lot of business today. <laughs> <laughs> With the burrow blocking the end. Walking around like he owns the gym. It's a Harley burrow. Oh, oh, he's rubbing his neck. Nice. What does that one say on his head? Don't feed him, because he's a baby. Great Zoltar. Zoltar. I want to be big. So I bought a stuffed animal for my daughter, and they gave us treats just for what's the, what's the, what's the meal's name? Go Walter. Ahead. For Walter, and the lady said these are only for Walter. So, so we have to go, we find, have to go Walter. find Walter. And if we can't find Walter, I'm going to feed it to one of the other birds. What is she going to do? <laughs> Let's be realistic. He's just going to eat it. She said the yellow house at the end of town, which, by the way, town is maybe uh, half of a city street block. Not, not very much. This is the Oatman Post Office. It's a little on the aggressive side here. I wouldn't get too close. The great Oatman bed races. What's a bed race? And, uh, and how, do we, it's a bed. how do we partake? Yeah, I get that it's a bed. How do you race? It's like, uh, oh, I think I know. So, as helpful as the uh, people in town are, giving directions is not their best skill. We were unable to find Walter, although we did get lots of other donkeys, burrows, things. 
Joke's on you, though, because I'm just going to jerk off back here. <laughs> Maybe going to jail. Why would I want to go to mine? I don't know what any other shit is, but there's a mine here. And there's a saloon with a piano. And there's a Michael with a limp. Interestingly enough, the scenery here is beautiful. It's a little bit off the beaten path, but... You come here for the burrows, but you stay here for the jerky. Apparently carrots are, uh, are bad for donkeys. I don't know. So because we have no internet service, we can't look it up. But I believe some of this is fossilized shit. So what you can't experience until they invent smell-o-vision is the smell of this place. I get it. The donkeys run the show, but uh, even his smell is slightly yeah, better. I'm walking so slow, I'm getting it extra. It's uh, it's pretty it lingered. It's pretty fucking brutal. Holy shit! I mean, literally, shit. All right, Michael, what did you think of Oatman, Arizona? Um, I think that you thought it was going to be better than it was. <laughs> I think they have four or five boroughs around town, and it sounded like, you know, I would have to be bumping them aside as if I was at. Black Friday sale at Walmart. <laughs> so there were not as many donkeys as we uh, as we expected. However, however, it was it's fairly early in the day and it's pretty fucking hot out. So I'm I'm guessing they're they're hiding somewhere in the bushes and uh, and getting some shade. All right, that was Oatman, famous town, Route 66, off the beaten path in uh, Arizona, and uh, highly would not recommend. Correct. Not recommend. It's a little bit far to drive to uh, to to kind of get here. And now to cool myself down from the 91, it says when it feels hotter. I'm gonna <laughs> it have feels a way hotter. Warm coffee to cool myself down. With. Enjoy that. Ass. Can you like just move over just a little bit? Maybe just a tiny bit? We're on a blind yeah. turn. <laughs> You're crazy. 